Happy snowy Monday, everybody. I'm Jason Coulthorpe. Karen's on assignment today. First at four, we're watching the radar, tracking that snow and monitoring traffic conditions. And if you're heading out or waiting for somebody to get home, this is what drivers are facing right now. On the left side there, that's I-96 and Oakman on Detroit's west side. And on the right, we have a crew on the move in Oakland County. We'll have updates throughout the evening for you as we take you through this. But obviously, let's check in with Andrew Humphrey, who's tracking the winter weather advisory. Where do we stand, Andrew? Well, Jason, that winter weather advisory remains in effect for Detroit and all of southeast Michigan until 7 o'clock this evening from Detroit into the Thumb down to the Ohio border and out toward Livingston County and Washtenaw County. Snow's pretty coming down still at a pretty good rate. You can see here, especially to our north in places like Port Huron, also northern portion of Macomb County. Here in Detroit, we're at least getting some fine snowflakes that are making it down to the ground and persistent snowfall still occurring in parts of Monroe County. Look at how much has fallen so far. Right on target with what we've been talking about since this past weekend. Between two and four inches generally across the area. Anywhere from three and a half inches so far in Lapeer, three and a half also in Rochester Hills, nearly two and a half inches over in Flint, just over two inches in Troy. So count on this persistent light and it's sometimes moderate snowfall for the next hour or so. After 5 o'clock, it becomes more scattered and eventually goes away by 9, 10 o'clock tonight, but it gets colder under those partly to mostly cloudy skies. So be careful out there. Still slushy, still slippery. Take your time on the roads and, of course, watch out for pedestrians and keep enough space between you and other drivers. We'll talk more about this evening's commute and the weather forecast and how cold it gets tonight in minutes. Yeah, slippery and slushy is a great way to put it, Andrew. I know that's what a lot of people are seeing out there. Let's get a live look on the roads out there. Local force Tim Pamplin is in Oakland County uh, on 696. Tim, what are you seeing out there? Jason, it's uh, it's not good. This is uh, 96, 696. I'm just passing through Nova. If you look on the right, that's the on-ramp. Uh, untreated, basically, is an ice patch. All the freeways uh, have had some uh, treatment this evening, but the, the damage is done, unfortunately. I just looked at the, the, the live drive traffic maps to click on Detroit. Uh, we've got a big crash, 696 eastbound uh, near Greenfield. Avoid that area. It's a five mile back up there. We're going to be out and about all evening long for the next couple of hours. Keep you updated. Back to you, Jason. All right, Timmy, we appreciate it. And we also have another crew on the road heading to Macomb County. Uh, caught at a light here. This is uh, our crew that just left the downtown station. Uh, we're driving. This is they're heading north on Gratiot. And if you are out and about, you just saw Tim talking about the freeways there. I saw three spinouts myself this afternoon, one on the lodge, two on each side of I-94. So it is slick in a lot of areas. The surface streets like this uh, can be very tricky if you catch a red light and all of a sudden you have to stop quickly. So prepare for that. Uh, obviously, we're going to check on the roads throughout this half hour and again tonight at five and six as well. That's a long red light, by the way. Uh, this won't be a record snowfall, but it doesn't mean driving won't be a dicey situation as these conditions worsen a little bit. Our Grant Herms has been checking with people who clear the roads for us to get some sense of how things are going. Grant, where are you at right now? Hey, Jason, so we are at 96 and Oakman on Detroit's west side right now. And you can see 96 looking all right right now, not like what you saw Tim talking about just a bit ago. Now, we've been driving around all day and have seen some of those spin outs, have seen some of those accidents. Uh, Michigan State Police reporting dozens of accidents today. They say it's just people simply going too fast for the road conditions. Now, a lot of things have been looking a lot like this all across Metro Detroit. No place really better or worse. Although those folks that do clear the roads for us did say that some roads and other ramps may be better than others. We'll get the main straight through straight away of the freeways before we get the ramps. So you may see some ramps that are a little bit snow more snow covered. And of course, because of the curvature of those, they can be dangerous. And right now is crunch time for those road crews as they try to get ahead of that rush hour traffic to make sure that everybody can get home safe. They're reporting from Detroit's west side. Grant Herms, look before. All right, Grant, we appreciate it. And always a good idea to keep those essential items in your car if you do get stuck out there somewhere. If you're stepping away from the TV tonight, remember you can get weather updates on the local forecasters app. If you don't have that, Hold your phone up to the TV right now. Get that QR code. It'll take you right to uh, the app store. You can get your interactive radar and updates whenever you need them. 
Other news this afternoon. The cousin of a missing East Point teenager is formally charged in connection to her disappearance. This is 23 year old Jalen Brazier. He was charged with lying to a police officer during a violent crime investigation. Brazier was taken into custody Saturday on a felony warrant related to the disappearance of 17 year old Zion Foster. She was last seen at her home on July 4th. It's probably been a day full of conflicting emotions for students at Oxford High School. That building reopening for the first time this morning since that deadly shooting back on November 30th. The district has shared these photos of the remodeling that's taken place since then. We honored a request to keep cameras away from the high school today in order to give students the space they need to make their return. Four students, as you know, were killed in that shooting, while six others and a teacher were injured. 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly has been charged as an adult with four counts of first-degree murder, among other charges. His next court appearance is February 22nd. His parents, Jennifer and James Crumbly, also charged with involuntary manslaughter connected to the shooting. Their next court appearance is on February 8th. Our Karen Drew spoke with an Oxford High School student right after the shooting. They've kept in touch throughout all of this, and Karen is talking to her right now about how the first day back went. Her story tonight on Local 4 News at 6. We're seeing signs of improvement in Michigan's COVID-19 cases. We just got some of the newest numbers today. The state recording more than 39,000 new cases in the past three days. The daily average down to a little more than 13,000, the lowest daily average since January 3rd. While hospitalizations remain at record high levels, one local hospital says it may be seeing a plateau now in the number of patients it's treating. We'll have that part of the story on Local 4 News at 5. What a roller coaster of a ride it's been on Wall Street today. The Dow Jones dropping more than 1,000 points earlier, but look at the numbers currently. Wow, what a recovery in the middle of a three week decline, uh, but finishing down 99 points. Huge rally there. Uh, investors waiting to see if the Fed raises interest rates to try to tame inflation. And uh, as we say, as the markets close, it's a much prettier picture than it was earlier today. Just an up and down situation there. The future of affirmative action policies in college admissions is once again in the hands of the uh, Supreme Court. It will hear lawsuits claiming Harvard University and the University of North Carolina discriminate against Asian American applicants. A decision against affirmative action could end the policies nationwide. In 2016, the court upheld the admissions program at the University of Texas against a challenge brought by a white woman. But the composition of the court has changed drastically since then, with the three justices selected by former President Trump. The court should hear arguments in the case in the fall. The Pentagon has just put 8,500 U.S.-based troops on a heightened state of readiness. Another sign tensions with Russia have intensified. The State Department has also ordered the families of all American personnel at the U.S. Embassy to leave the country. It's also offering to pay for the voluntary departure of any non-essential staff there. The State Department cautions this is not an evacuation and the embassy will remain open. We're told President Biden might send more U.S. troops to neighboring countries like Estonia or Latvia or Lithuania. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has denied plans to invade Ukraine, but there are 100,000 troops amassed on the country's border. The U.S. is also stepping up its warnings about any Americans traveling to Ukraine or Russia. One local man was heading to Ukraine this week to teach the pillars of democracy in the nation of his grandparents. Local force Paula Tutman spoke to him about pushing the pause on that trip and why he says all Americans should all be following this showdown in Europe. McCullum Mursky has been educated in physics and math at Michigan and MIT. He studied international affairs at Harvard University's Kennedy School of Government. And Thursday, he was supposed to travel to Ukrainian Catholic University to teach courses that build the tenets of democracy. The U.S. Embassy ordered some of its some of the staff's families to head home. So I took that as a as a sign that the situation is not really that stable. And so this morning he stepped on the brakes for now, but it is painful because what he's teaching is what a fledgling democracy needs to know. You're excited to be able to contribute to, um, you know, in any way that you can to the process that this country is going through to try and become 
you know, a more successful state and a more successful society. And as a former fellow for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, this Troy native understands the intricacies of why the threat of Vladimir Putin invading Ukraine is not just a problem somewhere over there. And to him, it starts with, in his nation, the United States, is his nation a nation of its word? Ukraine had the one of the largest nuclear arsenals in the world uh, when the Soviet Union fell apart. And the United States and a few other countries told Ukraine, OK, look, if you give up your nuclear arsenal, we will guarantee your security. You won't need to rely on your nukes. We'll guarantee your security for you. And now Ukraine is, you know, Ukraine is in the position of being like, look, we give up our nukes. Had we kept them, we would not be in this position. We relied on the promises of Western countries that they would protect us. And if your word means something, if you want your word to continue meaning something, we need your help. Also, the eroding idea of the concept of democracy is at stake all across the globe. Our country is founded on certain values, and we have to stand up for those values. And if those things don't matter, how about the almighty dollar? It's particularly important for us to understand that our economy depends on the global economy, and the global economy, in turn, depends on the fact that countries don't try to change borders by force. Yeah, so Makola is passionately committed to the idea that education is really a fantastic weapon to fight for uh, democracy. But he says right now the United States and its allies have to do their part on that border. Back to you. All right, Paula, we appreciate it and stay warm out there. Very picturesque, got to tell you. Also, before we go to break, quick correction, and it's a good one. The Dow finished up 99 today, not down. There you go.